Shalom and good day all, this is Tehillim29, back again for the Super Sun's Fortress of Attitude, to which in this episode, or in this comic review, I'll be covering Batman and Robin, issue 8 by Joshua Williamson. So, moving into first things first, as you can see, I've got three covers here, so what I'll be doing is I'll be giving my rating for each of the covers, and uh, do these covers in any way, shape, or form connect to something that is happening inside the story? In some cases they do, others they don't. So moving into the area of the first cover, uh, on the left hand side, which is the main cover, uh, for the first cover I give a 6.5 out of 10. Uh, for the one on the right hand side, which is a variant cover, I give an 8 out of 10. Even though it's not directly connected to it, I do actually quite like um, watching Damien getting some practice in with his old man. And last but not least, cover free, to which I give a 7 out of 10, as I feel it could probably do with a little bit more sprucing up. I'll now get things organized in relation to... Uh, covering the internal comic as we have a look around the beginning middle and of course the end uh, as we have a look at the internal art i just want to point out a little bit of laziness from um deceased comics <laughs> hmm? take note i am using a variant cover um this is uh, pretty lame and actually makes the story look lamer. So as the story begins, as we have a look at around the beginning of the uh, 40 yard, around the beginning of the story, we end up having the Damien Wayne and Flatline finding Flatline's sister. And uh, of course, we learn that Flatline's sister is deciding to get into the weapons cache. Uh, in in relation to the weapons trades just jumping a few pages ahead and we see uh, flatline double cross Damien moving further we get to see Damien take on both flatline and her sister as we jump towards the end of the story we catch up with the character of Batman who is investigating and looking into what man bat is doing uh, in Gotham City and last but not least uh, we have Damian Wayne heading back into high school uh, Gotham Heights High uh, as to what it was originally called in the first issue and uh, not Gotham City High School <coughs> you know uh, when DC needs to keep to consistency even with the uh, writer's storytelling. So for the internal art, I give it a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to move in relation to the area of the story. And uh, first things first, do we get anything comic reference wise? No, we don't. Next is the area of time. Do we know when certain, thing, certain events are taking place time wise? No, we don't. Why? Because it seems that both the editor and the writer are very, very lazy and stupid uh, by the looks of things, um, as this is actually very important to consistent storytelling. Uh, next is the location, which is in Gotham, and of course we get the high school. Next is the cast of characters, to which we get Damien Wayne, to which his character has completely been nerfed. Um, 
by Joshua Williamson. Uh, of course, we've got Flatline and her sister. We also have the character of Shush. And, of course, we have Bruce Wayne Batman. And, of course, last but not least, the character of Man Bat. For the overall story rating in this, I give it a 6.5 out of 10. Uh, we'll see you again at the Super Sons Fortress of Attitude. So, until next time and next issue...